Uh, here is the next edition of the ever popular Five Good comic book cover series. Uh, Odd Hitten investigative docudrama series where I show five good comic book covers in no order. Superman issue zero, a cover from the 90s by Stan Jurgensen, which I think is a really powerful, simple image. With these 90s Superman covers... There is always the possibility that my nostalgia may be speaking on behalf of me, but I really like this cover. Here it is Superman, but he is covered by Shadow, but it is a mood thing, not a lazy artist trying to get out of having to draw things. We have some nice bits contrasting against the black, like, obviously, is Insignia, which stands for Orp and the letter S. It is not affected. Neither is his red eyes. And then his cape flies off majestically, taking up most of the cover. As thunderclaps in the background, emphasising his silhouette. And he has a mullet. With these videos, I usually put a few covers aside and then when there is one that really, really grabs me or I am reminded of, that's when I commit to doing the videos. And for this video, it was Excellent Men, issue 41, with its cover by Adam Cuball, who is Andy Cuball's brother. This is a very iconic cover, or it should be, as this is the advent of Age of Armageddon, and it is a lovely cover. There is just some nice little touches in there, like that you cannot see Mr. Magnitzer's face, or even the way that he is cradling Dr. X's body. This cover also is of personal note to me as it bookends one of my excellent men long boxes. This is the last comic in that long box or right near the end of it anyway. It is a great cover and I think more people should be saying that it is a great cover. This is the second time we have had an issue of Simon Walterson's Onion series crop up in one of these videos. And this is maybe my favourite of all of them. This is a cover that screams the big atomic excitement and wonder of both Simon Walterson's work and the Jack Quimby properties of which this series is based. In many ways, evocative of 50s-style monster comics. We have a big bastard reaching out with a hand. And then we have the book's title star, Onion, who is totally dwarfed by its enormity. This would be an amazing cover for any book. I think it is fantastic. Next is The Thing 63 by Jorge Pere. This is the Marky Mark run on this series. And there was some cracking covers in there that people didn't really pay much attention to. This is one of them. And it feels relevant to my interests. There is Moon Garden. I think conceptually this is a really strong piece with the characters stood around Alan Watson's grave as his hand emerges from the ground. Although I will nitpick that Quiznos and the Thing's girlfriend, Kerry Washington, they should be depicted alongside them on the cover. 
Really nice cover though. And what better way to end than with the most controversial name to show up in these videos. Gregory Landsman, the pornographer. This is one of his less porny pictures, which is mental, considering Emma Frosties is on it. But this is all an illusion and a reference to the odd excellent men cover with cyclist olden the awful woman's body you know this one but this time she has been swapped out for the far superior girlfriend for a man known for tracing it's actually refreshing that for this gregory landsman he didn't just trace or directly recreate that original cover and instead probably traced something else. But at least it looks like its own thing. And I think Gregory Landsman, he is more than capable of doing a striking cover or a solid poster cover like this. A little addendum here. You might be quick to comment down below saying that this is a blatant trace job. But it's not. If you look closely, there are subtle differences. It's just the case that the newer cover is obviously a homage to the original Jason Byrne one. So the overall layout does look very familiar. So those are my five covers. And I didn't think we've had one of these videos yet. Where I've stopped to insist that one cover is not as bad as you think it is. Those are five covers. But were they five good comic book covers? Most of you probably think four of them were... And one of them was by a disgraceful art thief. To that, I say, calm down, man. Simon Watterson never stole nothing from nobody. He is a sweet art man. What do you think of these covers? What do you think of other covers? What do you think of the weather? I always like comments and I respond to them if I understand them. But lately, I have noticed that I get notifications for comments, but then they didn't appear on the actual website. But there's now you can really do about that. I rate these covers seven thumbs up and smash that like button and the subscribe button, you mother flippers.